we have talked a lot about the uh, you know the api before we could come into the slides of api thank you for that you have really made my uh, you know life easy uh, but one interesting thing is the thing that it uh, kind of you know the company uh, in its annual report as well as investor presentation was saying that its api is a dream project uh, there is a small story to it in 1993 uh, the, the 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 current CEO and MD is Sunil Mundra. Uh, in 1993, when Natural Capital Score first started, before it started, three months before that, I think about three or six months before that, uh, uh, Sunil Mundra's uh, elder brother Satyanayan Mundra. Uh, if, okay, I am yeah Satyanayan Mundra. I think uh, had a small API trading operation going on, but then. After that, what happened is this thing that they kind of moved, you know, it's not that they kind of uh, separated their, you know, they kind of, there was a family separation, not that, but they separated the business, the API trading business away from this natural capital business. And, uh, you know, this is, the, this is the path basically the capital business has come in. I, uh, it's a slightly romantic and slightly non-business-like uh, statement from me, but, uh, it's uh, perhaps uh, possible that this is the reason why they are calling a dream project because they wanted to move away from a trading based background to a production based background. I don't know. I cannot say. Uh, yes. 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 So derivatives are there. I'll come to that. That's a very, very, very important point. So, yeah. Uh, Funny, I didn't really mention it over here, but I think I mentioned it the in the in the uh, slides to follow. Yeah, yes. Uh, so it also tried to acquire a plant from Strides in the summer of twenty one, but it didn't work out. And this is where it came to investors' attention for the first time. Uh, so, so if you look at the share price now, this is the first time I'm talking about the share price of uh, you know of natural capsules. So. Uh, without really drawing much attention to its valuation and things like that, at least at this point of time, I want to basically chart out its uh, its uh, his journey, the current spurt in its valuations. If you see its chart, it kind of spurted first. You know, the share price kind of jumped at this time because people were kind of completely blindly speculating if a company like this is trying to make something like this, that is, it is acquiring a plant from strides, something must be going on. In essence, it is the blindest, purest form of speculation that they have been kind of engaged in. The second biggest spurt, the far bigger than this, happened in November 2021 when in the same, when during this year, basically they kind of came out with their investor presentation for the first time. It was a very snazzy, jazzy looking, beautiful looking presentation. And there was a lot of uh, conversation about AP, uh, capacity production, CapEx, new API and things, things like that. And people kind of went bonkers about it. And now that, you know, uh, that kind of a romance has kind of fallen through uh, and people have basic people are basically kind of uh, you know uh, getting i think they are getting disillusioned by it and so from 556 or 556 or odd it has come down to today what 396 rupees uh, so yeah this is this is a story but yeah uh, the greenfield api business is being set up uh, in compliance with right now the usfda eu gmp and who gmp so yeah uh so just give me a moment yeah so this was basically the idea that you know uh, it's not easy for a manufacturing business to go into r d business as such uh what really caught my eye was this slide per se this is taken straight away from the investor presentation that uh, it's from it's it's not a mere announce let the share run and uh, that kind of a marketing thing. Uh, what I really liked was August 2018. That is two years before the first investor presentation came up. The they started an R&D center to validate fermentation and the synthesis process. Then they basically filed a patent for prednisolone manufacturing, and then so on and so forth. So they, of course, not to say that they will not hit roadblocks. Remember this point that the operationalization of API plants has got postponed twice from Q223 to Q323. Sorry, Q223 to Q423 to Q124. So there will be, you know, uh, teething problems uh, for that. 
So it will not be, you know, operational from the day one itself of Q1 23, 23, uh, 24, sorry. It will not be operational, operational from day one of Q1 24. But the idea is this thing that uh, they at least did some, did some tests and did some validation, did some synthesis uh, research before kind of jumping into this. This kind of gives me some this time. And uh, of course, uh, we talked about the prices and uh, fear to assume uh, that, okay, so they will be monetizing each molecule every year for the next three years. So fear to assume for conservative purposes that will take four years to ramp up the three molecules. 